What defines a nation? Its landmarks? Its people? culture. Taking you from the plains of the Serengeti to the busy streets of Shanghai, from the podium of renowned leaders to the workbench of undiscovered artisans, this is Portrait of a Nation. The Kingdom of Morocco is rich in culture and tradition. There is certain thinking that is rooted in centuries of, of tradition. Yet at the same time, bristling with modernity and innovation. Le Maroc est un pays qui bouge et qui avance. It is a constitutional monarchy, a strategic gateway between Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Morocco has real competitive advantages compared to other countries. A dynamic, constantly evolving trading hub. On est dans la globalisation. On est dans la mondialisation. Parce que les États-Unis sont ici, la France sont ici. Nous sommes les Marocains sont dans le monde entier. The Kingdom of Morocco is alive with opportunity. Oui, comment fonctionne le pays? À nosotros nous ido bien. The living history of this magical kingdom is felt in every twist and turn of the Medina, visible on the canvases of local artists and heard amongst the crowds in the public square. Clues revealing Morocco's fascinating history can be found everywhere, in languages, faces and places of worship. Many have come to these shores, from Phoenician salt traders, Carthaginians and Roman legions, to Arab and European settlers. The evidence of this rich legacy is all around you when you walk the streets of Morocco's towns, villages and cities. It's easy to see why Morocco is such a popular place to take a vacation or to buy a second home. To buy a home here is a good investment. In terms of kind of buying here, really, it's been relatively easy. For many, Morocco has proven to be an excellent place to do business. Morocco, of increase their level of investment. The country's banking sector is vibrant, with a number of financial groups providing a full range of services to both Moroccans and foreign investors. Ati Jari Wafa Bank has branches and representative offices in Africa, Europe, Asia and the Middle East. In other sectors, foreign companies are playing a major role. 
Le secteur des communications dans notre pays, qui est un secteur en plein développement, reste par définition extrêmement ouvert, extrêmement euh, euh, désireux de recevoir le maximum d'apports extérieurs. Agriculture has historically been the foundation of Morocco's economy. Foreign and domestic investment is now combining to create a modern, high-performance agri-economy. The Maroc Ver, or Green Morocco Plan, aims to boost the sector's productivity, profitability and sustainability. While Rabat is the political heart of the country, Casablanca is the economic, industrial and business hub. Home to the stock exchange, the country's busiest port and the headquarters of Morocco's business elite, including Honor Group, its leading conglomerate. Economically, it's like we were in Europe, thanks to our ports, thanks to our infrastructure and thanks to our logistics. Dans la période entre 2003 et 2008, on a investi plus de 5 milliards d'euros, ce qui représentait plus que le double des cinq années précédentes. Et encore maintenant, à la période 2008-2012, nous avons doublé une deuxième fois. The city of Tangier is the ideal trading gateway into Europe. And Morocco is making the most of this geographic advantage by building the biggest port in Africa. Depuis que Tangier Méditerranée a été euh, ouvert, euh, les, la vitesse d'ouverture d'investissement au Maroc a été multipliée par trois. A high-speed TGV train link connecting Tangier to Casablanca is being developed by the French and Moroccan national rail operators in partnership with French company Alstom. Saïdia, on Morocco's northern coast, was one of six areas prioritized for development at the start of the decade as a part of the King's Plan Azur strategy to boost tourism numbers. Saïdia now offers a large range of apartments, houses and villas right on the Mediterranean Sea. Many people are rushing here to Morocco, I think from uh, Europe, not only from France but uh, from Germany, also UK, it's a fantastic country, it's very varied, so you've got the mountains, you've got the desert. This is going to be a resort where people will want to come all year round. A lot of people are going to come here to rent and if they don't want to spend uh, the, the time in the hotel and they want to ha come a couple of families, they can stay in a, in a house there. It's a place to come with your family and your, especially with your kids. Marrakesh is one of the world's most intriguing cities. The city has many different faces, offering a tantalizing contrast between the magical, mystical Marrakesh of old and the modern city that is constantly evolving. Just as they are in other sectors of the economy, okay. foreign companies are participating in the upgrading of the kingdom's towns and cities. Grupo Planificaciones Mundiales, a diversified group based in the Canary Islands, has significant plans for the port town of Tarafaya on Morocco's western coast. The chance to work on such a major project in the kingdom was clearly an opportunity not to be missed. Ce projet Choroc Tarfaya qui signifie lever du soleil euh, va apporter à Tarfaya et à sa région de Layoun un grand nombre de services puisqu'il euh, se compose d'un hôtel casino, de restaurants, de grands magasins, d'un marché d'artisanat et en plus d'un tissu industriel de plus de 130 000 m2. Tarfaya forme partie de l'archipel Lago Canario. Et además, non seulement ça, il y a aussi une cercanie culturelle, qui est l'idioma espagnol, entre les zones, les provinces sur de Marruecos et l'archipel de Canarias. Nous avons choisi Marruecos, d'abord, parce que nous sommes canarios et nous le tenons très près. 
de Fuerteventura, pero no solo eso, sino por el potencial que entendemos que puede tener Tarfaya y la zona de Layún y, y Marruecos en general, eh, con respecto a todo lo que es los tráficos de, de, de Senegal hacia lo que puede ir a Europa. ¿no? One of the kingdom's most ambitious development projects is the Boragreg Valley development, which will link the capital Rabat to its sister city, Saleh. Plans for the 15-kilometer stretch of land include a large marina, a wharf from which local fishermen can continue their livelihood, a shopping promenade, parks and recreation areas. C'est une ville qui va naître avec des composantes résidentielles, des composantes touristiques, des composantes liées autour euh, de la plaisance, de créer une dynamique économique et sociale par la, la, le développement du tourisme, le développement de l'artisanat, le développement du secteur euh, financier. C'est un projet qui ouvre ses portes à tous les investisseurs du monde. One feature of the project addresses a major priority in the country's sustainable development plan. It is hoped that the construction of a tramline to connect the cities of Rabat and Saleh will significantly reduce carbon emissions. The kingdom currently imports almost all the energy it consumes. In an effort to address this, the government has allocated more than $10 billion for energy investments by 2015 and is seeking to increase the level of electricity generated from wind to 12%. Another issue that is of great importance in this country is the preservation of its many antiquities. Morocco is home to a number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and many areas of cultural and historical significance. While guarding the remnants of the past is a duty that must be fulfilled, physical development of Morocco's infrastructure is vital for the country's future prosperity. The city of Dakhla is growing in significance. This exotic locale is not just alluring for fishing enthusiasts and kite surfers, but increasingly for investors. Une personne d'Andorre, un Andorran, me dit mais il faut que tu ailles absolument voir un endroit qui est extraordinaire, qui s'appelle Darla. Et j'ai découvert cet endroit extraordinaire, avec une lagune sans comparaison possible au niveau mondial. J'ai voyagé aussi, donc j'ai décidé à partir de ce moment-là d'acheter ce terrain, de me lancer dans une aventure originale et d'être le premier investisseur étranger à Darla. The government has invested heavily in Dakhla's infrastructure, priming the city and its inhabitants for sustainable growth. Dakhla's waters are teeming with fish, and the local fishing industry is poised for expansion. Fisheries, processing plants and distribution networks are being developed, and efforts to nurture the foods that grow in the region are also underway. Exploiting the windy conditions to generate renewable energy is also a priority. C'est vraiment un, un site vierge qu'il faut protéger, qui est extraordinaire, où il faut faire des choses bien intégrées. Il faut être très attentif à la nature. Other industries with high growth potential in Dakhla include ship repair and of course, tourism. And one sport in particular draws enthusiasts from all corners of the globe. Here in Dakhla is a huge laguna and uh, there are not, not obstacles like trees and houses and, and so we can do kite surfing in really secure conditions and we have lots of fun because every day there's wind. Et ça, je pense que pour les Européens, c'est quand même assez exceptionnel de se retrouver à faire du kite au milieu du désert.
When walking around any of Morocco's great cities or towns, it is obvious that tradition is highly valued. But alongside this respect for the past is a determination to evolve and to adapt. Morocco has pursued a widespread program of social reform to address the needs of its citizens. In one specific area, the kingdom has become something of a role model to other nations. Women's rights. Here in Morocco, no hay diferencia entre el hombre y la mujer. Todos los todos los dos uh, trabaja conjuntos y tienes un motivo dar una imagen de su país, una buena imagen. Women entrepreneurs contribute to the economic development in our country. There are so many women like me in Morocco and they are successful. One industry that has to move with the times while playing to its strengths is tourism. Tourism has always played a major role within the Moroccan economy. Proximity to Europe, the promise of warm weather and such a diversity of sights and attractions have made it a popular choice for visitors seeking any number of things. Style and fashion in Marrakesh, tranquility in the desert and Atlas Mountains, traditional artistry and the breathtaking Medina in Fez. Urban chic in the business hub of Casablanca. Thrills in Dakhla. At the heart of Morocco's tourism strategy is Plan Azul. The objective is to raise visitor numbers to 10 million by 2010. Visitors to Morocco are always captivated by the local handicrafts, authentic styles and fashions that are on display. Zid Kids is an award-winning design company based in Marrakesh. The company creates innovative, fun products for children using only Moroccan materials and homegrown inspiration. Zid Kids is a young company. Our values are essentially based on high design, fair trade and respect of the environment. Husband and wife design team and co-founders, Julie Clear, and Moulay Essakali know a little bit about what kids want, with two of their own to learn from. We believe that children can appreciate a quite sophisticated visual language, uh, color palette, and we try to give that to, to the children as well as to the parents. You can find Zid Zid Kids in America, Canada, in Europe, and we're also present in Australia and Japan and, and other countries. The imperial city of Fez is home to some of Morocco's greatest artisans. Here, things are made the traditional way, with painstaking attention to detail, using materials, machines and techniques inherited from past generations. Fez was the kingdom's capital until the honour was transferred to Rabat in 1912 but it retains its status as the country's cultural center. The vast medina of Fez el Bali is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and renowned as the best preserved old city in the Arab world. Stunning Islamic architecture, tombs, shrines, markets and the tannery where leather making techniques have remained unchanged since the Middle Ages. Morocco has proven over time that it can adapt to outside influence. It has welcomed foreign investors to participate in a buoyant, diversified economy.
embraced innovation in both new and traditional industries, and it has nurtured a skilled workforce in whose hands the country's future safely rests. Amidst all this change and progress, the kingdom has retained its charm. Its unique heritage remains alluring to millions of visitors. And regardless of the pace of change that never ceases, the essence of Morocco will live on.